I hope that you were able to find yourself a, a sturdy chair that you think could work for this practice. And just some tidbits, some helpful hints when looking for a, a really great chair for chair yoga. See if you can find one that has a back so that you can um, be supported. Um, if you do by any chance need to find your way back, you at least have something to support you. And then also, it's best to have a chair that doesn't have um, arms, but if your chair does have arms, that's absolutely fine. And then the third thing, super important, is to make sure that your feet are able to touch the ground. So if they're not, if your feet are dangling, you can find um, like, uh, something to boost your feet up, bring the earth to you, um, so that way you can also feel supported by the ground beneath you. And then one last thing is sometimes props are super nice um, when practicing chair yoga. So if you have um, a pillow, just like a couch pillow or a pillow from your bed. Um, that can always be helpful to place behind you. And just once again, bringing the back of your chair to your back body. So find any props you may need. Find a seat that works for you, where you feel your sits bones completely supported by the seat beneath you. And then look down for a moment and make sure that your feet are about hip distance apart and that the inner edges of your feet are parallel. From there, perhaps you close your eyes or take a soft gaze. Notice what it feels like to allow your attention to go inward. And then here, as you breathe, begin to bring your awareness to your breath. Perhaps starting with some audible breaths, maybe some big breaths in through the mouth. And back out through the mouth. Maybe it comes out like a sigh or a moan or a groan. Let it be true to your experience. And once you've begun to notice the breath more and more, perhaps you close your lips and begin to breathe in through the nose. And out through the nose. And then now notice what it feels like to deepen and lengthen your breath. Oftentimes, in my own personal meditation practice, I find that when I am entering into uh, the meditation, it is easier, to, easier for me to begin with a count. So I'm really thinking of Sama Vritri here, um, which is a balanced breath where the length 
the count of your inhalation matches the length and the count of your exhalation. So breathe as you are in this moment. And I'm going to lead us through a count of four to begin with. Just notice how you feel. Perhaps release any attachments or expectations that you may have of yourself and just tap into how this feels. So at your own pace of breath, not my count necessarily, you'll breathe in for two, three, four, and out for two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now find your way back to your normal piece of breath. And just take note of how you feel. In particular, how you feel in your body. Notice if you have any muscles that may be tightening or clenching that perhaps don't need to necessarily do that. Perhaps you can soften the bone muscles between your eyebrows or maybe unclench your jaw or your fist. Perhaps soften your shoulders and just notice how your body has reacted to our sound of retreat with the four count. See if you can release any type of judgment or expectation or classification you may have put on how the breathing exercise went for you. And just truly tap into the feeling. And perhaps you've noticed that you think it could be beneficial to extend your breath to a count of five or a count of six. Or maybe you found that you may have thought a bit short of breath with the count of four, so you'd like to reduce your count to a count of three or two or maybe even one. So just make this decision for yourself, no wrong answers. It's just purely about what works for you in this moment. And then I will be quiet once you have chosen your count. And then together we will practice some of retreat in silence. Let's see if we can take five rounds on our own. regardless of where you have landed. Finish your final exhalation with your count and then begin to breathe at your own pace of breath. 
one's life. Perhaps to tuning or tapping into your Ujjayi ocean breath. And the next time you inhale, bring your hands to heart center. Lengthen your spine. And let's open our practice with three shared breaths at your own pace together in community. Breathing all the way in. You can release your hands back down to your lap. Slowly blink your eyes open. Maybe keep a soft gaze. And just notice how you feel once more. As you inhale, we'll reach out to the sides and up. Exhale, hands to heart center and down. Find your flow, inhaling to reach, exhaling, hands on back to heart, Anjali Mudra. And just find this at your own piece of breath. Maybe beginning to add that twist that we practiced last week, twisting to the left. Inhaling to reach the arms up, back to center. Exhale, hands through your heart. Twisting to the right. Finding the length through your spine, even when you twist, noticing what it's like to twist through the spine, but also to lengthen upwards. And then root your bottom down into your seat. Notice your feet pressing firmly on the ground. Let's try one more, whichever side you've landed on. And as you exhale, Hands back down to your left. This time, let's inhale to reach our arms all the way up. Exhale, just to draw the elbows down. Almost think like goalpost arms here. So arms out 90 degrees. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, just to the goalpost. Notice how your biceps feel. Connect to your breath. Let's try three more, wherever you are. Three more breaths. In this series of postures, soften the shoulders. Notice the gentle constriction of the back of your throat, the glottis. Good job. This time, inhale to reach all the way up. Feel your feet pressing firmly into the ground because we're going to fold forward. So draw the belly button in, hug the ribs in, and as you exhale, hinge forwards. Nice and slow with control. And then here, notice your feet pressing firmly into the ground, still a hips distance apart. And you can either reach your fingertips to the ground, or if you're unable to reach the ground, just grab hold of opposite elbows. This feels so nice. 
Either way, allow your head to dangle heavy. Allow your belly to soften towards your thigh. Relax your neck. And maybe just sway the neck left to right. Do what works for you. See if you can try not to look up at me and really just allow your head and gaze to just find its way downwards. Keep pressing your feet into the ground. Shift your hips up and back. And maybe you'll notice some length through the spine. If you've got a grasp of your elbows, just Unwind the arms, bring your fingertips to the ground, or you can even bring them to underneath the seat of your chair. Actually, yeah, let's all try that. So bring your hands to underneath the seat of your chair, and then engage your tummy to come all the way up, but nice and slow, so not too fast. Noticing how you feel after we were just folded forwards. And then from here, you can bring your hands back down to your lap. Breathe deeply here. Maybe it helps you to refocus your attention as you maybe seal your eyes shut. Do what works for you. From here, let's inhale, lift the shoulders. Exhale, draw them down. Inhale, lift just the right shoulder, allow the left shoulder to reach down. And then your next breath, switch. Playing with, yeah, I feel like I'm, I don't know, I'm working maybe a special part of my brain when I do this because I really have to focus my attention to see if I can match my movement to my breath and then also I'm alternating shoulders. So as one shoulder reaches upward, the other one reaches downward. So it's kind of like this funky thing to play with. And then so if you can be kind to yourself, it's also not a big deal wherever you have landed. Let's try, inhale to reach both shoulders up. Exhale, pull the shoulders down. This time, inhale, reach the shoulders up and back. Exhale, to draw the shoulders around. Notice your shoulder blades coming together onto your back as you reach your heart forwards. One more. Let's reverse our circles. Inhale, to reach up, forward, and then exhale. wherever you are. Relax the palms back in your lap. Let's breathe in to reach up. Breathe out. Goal pose. This time, keep your arms right in goal pose. Breathe in to reach your chest forward, heart forward, even untuck, untuck your chin. And then with the seat, or with your hips, shift them back. And as you exhale, Reach your upper back all the way back behind you. So inhale to reach forward. Exhale and cap as the spine arches. I can even, you stay where you are, but I'm just going to turn to the side just so that you can see the undulation of my spine. So keep going wherever you are. Inhale to reach the heart forward. Exhale to curl into yourself. And let's try one more wherever you are. And big breath in to release. Come back to that neutral spine. Let's find some neck stretches. So with the right hand, you'll bring it to your head and then just let it drift over towards the left just so that you can guide your head towards that right shoulder. Nice and easy, nice and gentle. And then notice the stretch through the left side of your neck. Breathe here. And then reach the left arm out to the left and just find a angle that feels 
nice in terms of your neck stretch. So maybe you reach your arm forwards or a little bit higher up to the side and backwards and just really play, allow yourself to experiment. Notice your biceps here also. This is a lot of arm strengthening that we're doing while even allowing ourselves to find the neck stretch. And I have felt that this is exactly that spot that feels so good for my neck. And I hope that you found, found yours as well. And just notice what it feels like. Breathe in. Ooh, and breathe out. Oh my goodness. Maybe you draw the ear towards the right shoulder a little bit more as we spend more time in this position. Maybe you found that you can deepen your stretch. But really listen to your body here. Ooh. And then big breath in to release everything. Nice and easy, you'll guide the neck back to neutral and just rest your hands back in your lap and just notice how you feel. Notice how one side feels from the other. Deeply. And then when you're ready, we'll take the left hand to like the right temple kind of area, just so that we can guide the head, the left ear towards the left shoulder, really feeling a stretch through the right side of the neck. And then you know what, maybe this is your stretch right here and you don't even need to reach the arm out because perhaps you know the intensity is just right like this. So really choose what works for you. I find that when I make sure that I'm really lengthening my spine, rooting down through my butt bones, even drawing my belly in and then really softening my shoulders, just those alignment cues and just those adjustments right there help me to really feel that, that length and that stretch through the right side of my neck. So notice how this feels, and then maybe you reach right arm out. Maybe you play with space as you reach the arm to different areas around you. And you may find that you feel a really great stretch in one of those places. Just breathe. Next big breath in, you'll make your way back to that seated mountain pose. Ooh, nice job. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. This time, as you exhale, let's bend the right arm. Give yourself a little pat on the back. And then with the left hand, sneak it around behind you. And see if you can grab hold of your shirt with that bottom left hand. Maybe you notice that you can even wiggle your fingers together and grasp hands together. As you do so, press your chest forward, the left hips to stay sturdy and stable, even reaching them back a little bit. Draw the belly button in, soften the shoulders, and breathe. So remember, if the hands uh, don't reach one another, that's absolutely fine. You can find this stretch just by grabbing hold of your shirt wherever you may be able to reach. So really see if you can focus on the beauty of the stretch and what it can do for, for your practice today as opposed to maybe a goal of reaching the hands together. Just allowing yourself to be with wherever you are right now. Lengthen the spine. 
And as you exhale, release. Mm. Let's reach the arms all the way out and just start our circles. We'll go to the second side in a moment. You can make circles going forward. And then here, like, choose what works for you. Maybe your circles become bigger. Or maybe you find smaller circles. Just notice how your rotator cuffs feel, how the shoulders feel, the neck even. Hug your ribs in. Inhale to reach all the way up. And exhale, Whew. palms back down to your lap. Inhale to reach all the way up. Exhale to bend the left arm. Give yourself a pat on the back. And then now with that right hand, grab for your shirt or some fingers and just breathe. So here, engage the tummy. Continue to sit up nice and tall. Press down through your bottom. Even press down through your feet. Maybe you find a little teeny back bend, a little teeny cow-like uh, movement as you reach your heart forward. Think like archer pose. Nice undulation or a nice, um, yeah, a nice back bend. And then when you're ready, you'll exhale just to neutralize the spine to keep the arms exactly where they are. Soften your shoulders. Soften your eyes. Just breathe. Big breath in and release. Nice job. Let's try those circles one more time, but this time go in the opposite direction. And then once more, notice the rotator cuffs. Inhaling to reach up. Think of like the shoulder circles that we even did earlier today. So as you exhale and reach your arms back and down, notice your shoulder blades coming together. Oof. Notice the neck, see if you can release any unnecessary tension you may be holding in the shoulders of the neck. Inhale to reach all the way up. And then exhale, hands come through heart center and back down to your lap. And just pause for a minute and, and notice how your upper body feels. Notice the physical sensations in your body and then release the story, release the narrative, and just truly tune into feeling as opposed to thinking or analyzing, just feeling. Let's add some warmth to our legs. Feel your feet pressing firmly on the ground. As you inhale, lift your heels up off the ground. Keep the balls of your feet connected to the earth beneath you. Exhale to release. Inhale, come to your tippy toes, heels off the ground. Exhale, release. It feels nice. Maybe you add the arms. Inhaling to reach up. Lift the heels up. Exhale. Draw the heels down. Hands towards heart center. Choose what works for you. All right. Let's now try inhaling to lift just the toes, keep the heels pressing firmly. Exhale to release the toes back down to the ground. And I also feel like this is one of those brain 
bringing teasers almost, like just coordinating the breath, the arms, and the feet is so interesting for me. And just notice how that makes you feel, adding in some coordination. And then like notice how it feels in the moment, like when we do this, these uh, postures and these breath works and lifting and lowering the toes, how that impacts your focus. So the focus on that, the moment, the focus on the breath, the focus on the mind and the moment, and then of course the focus on the movements in your body. Just notice how that feels. And whenever you're ready, you'll plant your feet down, inhale to reach up. So the four corners of your feet now pressing into the earth, and exhale, bring the arms back down. Inhale to reach the arms out to a T. Palms can be face down for now. Inhale, reach the right foot off the ground. Exhale, lower. You've done this for the past few weeks. I think that it is amazing um, quad strength there. I've really been enjoying it. I hope you have too. Remember also to take any breaks, to grab a drink of water, anything that you may need because always listening to your body, but this is quite strenuous. So listen, notice where the mind goes. When you work certain muscle groups. Last one. Hey, how about we inhale to lift the foot and lift the arms. And then exhale to release everything. Back down. Notice how you feel. Feel your two feet pressing firmly into the ground. Lengthen through the spine once more. Sometimes we have the tendency to, when we're you know, asking so much of our legs, to slouch a little bit in the spine, but it's really important to see if you can sit up nice and tall. And then maybe this is that moment where you grab a prop or a pillow and place it behind you so that you can bring the back of your chair a little bit closer to your back body. So if you're having any pain in the back, go ahead and find what it is around you that can support you through the remainder of our time together. And whenever you're ready, You'll inhale to reach the arms out to with the side to a T. And this time, big breath in, flip the palms up towards the ceiling. Notice how your biceps kind of rotate up also towards the ceiling. And now see if you can keep the biceps reaching upwards as you exhale, just spin the palms downward. Soften the tops of your shoulders, press your feet into the ground. Inhale to lift the left foot, exhale to lower. And then of course, you can move the arms, you can lower the arms if that feels good. Just really find what works for you here. Find a way that this movement can be sustainable and useful and also kind to you and your body. Four is engaged. Two more. Oh, okay, I lied. Last one, inhale, lift the left foot up the ground, lift the arms up, and then exhale, release everything back down. Ah, I almost forgot that, that great last piece. And just breathe. Okay. So from here, we're going to move towards our hamstrings, the back of the thighs. And last week, we were experimenting with a seated hamstring stretch, which we've done for a few weeks now. So if you like that, by all means, stay in the seat for the seated hamstring stretch where you scoop your hips 
forward on your chair, but make sure that your bottom is still supported. Extend one leg out and then fold forward. So we've done that a few times. If you're interested, let's see what happens if we stand and also try our hamstring stretch that I introduced last week where we come to the side of the chair and let's begin coming to the right side of your chair if that works for you spatially. If it doesn't, by all means, do whatever works for you. So remember, this can also be done seated, seated hamstring stretch. So if you're feeling like standing up isn't right for you in this moment, by all means, go and sit back down. If you feel like standing up feels okay for this moment, feel your feet planted firmly in the ground. And then also once more, just like when we were seated, notice that your feet are hips distance apart and inner edges of the feet parallel. From here, draw your belly button in, hug muscle to bone in your thighs, and just breathe, soften your shoulders. And then left hand comes just to support yourself on the back of the chair. We're going to start with stretching through the right hamstring. So whenever you're ready, shift your weight over to your left foot. So now you feel yourself really pressing firmly into the ground through the left sole of your foot. And then grow light on the right foot. Maybe play with balance just by um, like dangling the foot with a soft bend in that right knee just so you can see where you're at this morning in terms of balance. And then whenever you're ready, come back two feet pressing firmly into the ground. Big breath in, shift over to the left, grow light on the right. And whenever you're ready, you're gonna lift your knee just like we did in those last few exercises. And bring the heel of that right foot onto your chair. Lengthen through the spine, draw the belly button in. And then as you exhale, we're gonna hinge at the hips. Soft bend in the knee here really helps to find that, that stretch really through the belly of the hamstrings. So you don't want any pain behind the knee. If you have a pain behind your knee, bend it even more. Flex those right toes and then shift your hips up and back as you hinge forwards. As you hinge forward, see if you can keep the spine long. So instead of curling into yourself like that, keep the spine long, keep your hips back, send your booty back, engage your tummy, maybe you hinge a little deeper. Remember, soft bend in that knee, maybe even a big bend. I'm finding that I need to bend this knee uh, more generously than I even thought I would. So just notice where you are in the moment without judgment. Whenever you're ready, inhale to come back to that standing position. Make sure you've got the grip on the back of your chair just so that as you exhale, you can bend that right leg and bring the right foot back down to the ground. Notice how you feel. So we're going to now come to the left leg and it makes sense for me to come to the left side of my chair. That way I can be super stable and secure. But again, if something else works best for you, go ahead and try that. Okay. So once more, feel your feet. Firmly planted in the crown, inner edges of the feet parallel, and feet will be hips distance apart. Use your right hand to support yourself by pressing, placing the right hand on the back of your chair. And let's just see what it feels like to guide our weight to the right this time. Get light on the left foot. Maybe bend it, angle it a little bit, just notice what it feels like. Inhale to come back to center. Strong, sturdy mountain pose here. Inhale to shift back to the right. Soft bend in the left knee. Whenever you're ready, engage your tummy. Lift, 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 lift this knee. You got it. And then extend the leg to draw the heel to the seat of your chair. Keep standing up nice and tall. Flex the left foot. And maybe this is the hamstring stretch. Maybe this is beautiful for you. And you can stay right here. If you'd like to hinge forward, do so slowly. 
with care and with ease. And then there we go, put the bend into the left knee so that we don't feel pain behind the knee. That is not the goal. The goal is really to feel, oh, the stretch, the lengthening happening in the hamstring, back of the thigh, and then shift your booty back, shift your hips back, reach your chest forwards and down. Spine is long, don't curl into yourself, you've got it. Keep lifting those hips up and back, extending the spine long, pressing the heart forward, and then just let gravity do its thing as you descend. Breathe here. Notice your breath. Send your breath right to your hamstring. Allow your torso to grow heavier. Noticing what happens in the body as we hold the pose for a little bit more. Engage the tummy, inhale to stand all the way up. And whenever you're ready, exhale to lower that left leg to the ground. Come back to mountain pose. Just breathe. From here, Turn your body to face forward, and we can stay on the left side for right now, but we're going to come into some balancing postures. This is the first week where I've taught balancing postures um, with this chair, and I'm really excited. If this, though, feels like something that is not going to be supported for you this morning, then please, by all means, sit back down and try any of the other postures that we may have, have um, played with today or even come into your figure four hip stretch. So if you want to go there, and we've done this in the past few weeks, coming to draw ankle to the base of thigh and finding your figure four hip stretch, okay? And you'll try that, or maybe you'll experiment with some mountain poses. Okay, so find mountain pose once more. Tadasana. But allow uh, your right hand to support yourself just on the back of your chair. Okay, just like we did in our hamstring stretch, draw the weight now over to your right foot. My chair is a little wobbly here. I've got like a little piece of cardboard underneath it, but it's a little tiny bit wobbly, so I'm just going to try to readjust. There we go. So draw your weight now to the right. Get light on the left foot. Before we go in there, just see what it's like. Notice what it feels like to be a little off balance. Okay. Come back to center. And you can bring the left hand to your hip if that feels good. Maybe you bring it out or maybe you out like to a T, how we've done today. Or maybe you even bring it to a wall nearby to support yourself here. So now you've got your hands connected to something on both sides to feel supported. So choose what works for you. But we're going to come into tree pose. So here, shift your weight to your right foot. Grow light on the left. And then bring the balls of that left foot to the ground, the ball of that left foot to the ground. And then reach your left ankle, or excuse me, left heel to the right ankle. Tree pose right here. And then you can adjust where your hand is on your chair, if that feels nice. And then notice here how we've got this external rotation, really with this left hip and the left thigh. So see if you can draw the left knee open a little bit more and just breathe. Lengthen your tailbone down, hug your ribs in, and soften your shoulders. From here, maybe you play with balance by reaching that right arm to the side. And just notice what it feels like. You can stay just like this. 
maybe playing with movement in the arms, or you can reach back down to wrap hold of your chair. And perhaps you bring the left sole of that left foot a little bit higher up on the right leg. Perhaps you play with balance once more. Maybe you reach down, grab hold of that left ankle, and bring it to your inner right thigh. So choose what works for you here with this tree pose, but avoid pressing your knee, or excuse me, avoid pressing your foot into that right knee. We want to be able to protect our knees. So you can choose where the left foot goes. Maybe it stays on the ground, maybe it comes to the ankle, maybe it comes to the inner thigh. Maybe you your balance. Perhaps you reach up. And just breathe. Hug the ribs in. And then find a dristy point. So a point in front of you that's not moving, so maybe you don't look at me, because I might fall over at any point or, or uh, ooh, move at any point. Whoa. But find your dristy point, focus on it, and breathe. And see if you can be playful here. No big deal. And when you're ready, you'll exhale to release, to come back down to your mountain pose. My kitty has taken over the chair. <laughs> and then here, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Roll your shoulders, wiggle your arms, wiggle your legs. Dust off any energy that you feel, maybe you just want to get rid of right now. Sometimes when we try those balancing poses, at least for me, I can get super serious and super rigid. And, you know, the goal isn't to be perfect or to have a perfect tree. It's just to notice what it feels like to be off balance, to notice your breath, to notice the thoughts and the feelings that arise in a pose, in a pose where we're on one foot and supporting ourselves with just one leg. So with that, you can come to the opposite side of your chair, if that makes sense for you. So now I'm on the right side of my chair. Come back to mountain pose. Breathe. Maybe even place your hand on your belly if that helps you connect to your breath. We've just got one more side. And when you're ready, you'll shift your weight to your left foot. Inner edges of the foot parallel. Get light on the right foot. Notice what it feels like to move towards our second side. And as you exhale, come back to your mountain pose. Just breathe. Inhale, draw your weight to that left foot and find your little tree. I always love to start with bringing the ball of my right foot to the ground and the heel of my right foot to my left ankle, just so I can begin feeling sturdy within myself. Maybe you place your hand to your heart, maybe your belly. Perhaps you move that right foot up to your ankle. Either way, draw the right knee open. So really feel this external rotation of the hips, especially that right hip. A little internal rotation still of the left thigh. Maybe you find a different tree. And here, really feel for pressing that right foot into your left thigh, and then also pressing the left thigh into your right foot. And as you feel this pressure from both sides, notice how that right hip externally rotates a little more. Draw the right knee back, back, back. Scoop the tailbone under, hug the ribs in, and maybe you find your mouth. I'm wearing socks, notice that my foot is slippery. Either way, soften your shoulders. And whenever you're ready, exhale to release. 
wiggle, 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 wiggle. Let it go. And let's find our way back to the chair. I'm gonna have to move you, baby. There you go. Okay. So now notice what it feels like to be seated once more. Notice how your legs feel. And we found a little external rotation of the hips in our tree. Now let's work for externally rotating both hips at the same time. So we're going to come to goddess pose. And yeah, before we even move the feet and the legs and externally rotate through the hips, feel for sitting up, lengthening through the spine, pressing your feet into the ground. And then I don't necessarily think you should sit at the edge of your seat. Do you make sure that your bottom is supported, but see if you can allow your, your thighs kind of to be free of the seat beneath you. And then whenever you're ready, reach down to grab hold of the bottom of your chair, and you're just going to heel toe your feet apart from one another. Nice and slow. Finding your goddess pose. And then maybe you shimmy your bottom a little bit further up forward on the chair so that hips are really like right on the edge of the chair. So like your booty supported, but you feel like, like you're not sitting back too far. So you can really find the length through the spine and the opening in the hips and uh, the external rotation of the thighs and the hips. And then from here, look down and just make sure that your toes and your knees are pointed in the same direction. Great. So just like in tree pose, draw your knees open. And you're gonna want your knees to like track over that space between your second and your third toe. Inhale to reach the arms up. Exhale to reach the arms down. Notice what it feels like in the hips when you add movement in the upper body, the arms. Find your little flow. Every inhale, notice your spine lengthening, hugging the ribs in. Every exhale, soften your shoulders. Root down a little bit more through your six bones. Last one, inhale to reach all the way up. Exhale, hands can come through heart center. And then bring palms to either thigh. Let's bring our right forearm to the left, or excuse me, to the right thigh. And then left arm and over, stretch through the left side of your body. Keep drawing your knees apart, press your feet firmly into the ground. And then reach your heart up to the ceiling. So draw the left shoulder back. Maybe you even soften the right ear a little bit towards the right shoulder, find that nice neck stretch. Or you can look down towards the earth beneath you to find the neck stretch on the left side. Inhale to come all the way back to a T. Spine is long. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to reach down. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Palms back to the thighs. When you're ready, left forearm to left thigh, right arm up and over. Breathe, soften your shoulders. Feel your ribs spinning, even those left low ribs reaching to the sky. Draw the right shoulder back. Chest, heart is open, throat is open. Maybe you try relaxing the left ear a little, stretching through the right side of the neck. Or looking down to the earth to stretch through the right side of the neck. Inhale to come back to center. Woo, exhale. Hands back down to your thighs. And then from here, just support your, um, support yourself by bringing your hands underneath your seat and just scoot your 
booty back just a little bit because we're going to forward fold. And I don't want you to be on the edge of your seat when we're going to hinge. So now make sure both cheeks are really supported beneath you. Hold on to the base of your chair, fold forwards, hinging at the hips, send your hips back as your torso reaches down. You can stay just like this, supporting yourself, hands underneath the seat of your chair, or you can bring your fingertips to the ground. Support yourself this way. Let the head be heavy if your hands are touching the ground. If you've got still the base of the chair, let your tummy be strong here. Lengthen through the spine. Either way, just breathe. Shake your head yes and no, loosening up the neck. Engage the tummy, bring your hands underneath your seat and come all the way back up. Nice and slow. Ground yourself. Breathe in and out. And whenever you're ready, we'll just begin to walk your feet back to hips distance apart. Find your seated mountain pose once more. Rest your hands upon your lap. Flutter the eyes closed or soften your gaze. Notice your breath. Notice yourself in the seat of awareness. You, the observer, who notices all your external surroundings, your internal dwelling, and your breath. Show us that. Notice your breath. Enjoy your breath as you slowly bring life back into your body. Maybe you draw your to shoulders, stretching throughout the sides of the neck. Perhaps you wiggle fingers and toes, rolling wrists and ankles, even. Perhaps pointing and flexing the feet, whatever feels good, flicking the fingers, rolling the shoulders. 
As you breathe in, make your way to stillness once more. Allow your attention to go inward, tune into you. As you inhale, bring your hands to heart center. Notice your beating heart as your thumbs press upon your chest. Soften your shoulders, lengthen through your spine. And let's seal our practice in community with one last shared breath. Bow to your heart. Take this moment to thank yourself, to thank your heart for leading the way, to thank yourself for showing up. Perhaps this in gratitude to all the other souls, the energy and forces that helped you to land right here, right now. From the bottom of my heart, I bow to you in absolute gratitude. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day.